Hello and welcome to Talk to Tiger. Today I have requested a couple of my friends from college to join us uh, and discuss about the fate of IT sector. So we are all uh, good in our particular sectors, but we wanted to share the feeling that we have. Uh, we are trying to answer specifically about uh, post-corona situation, how industry is adopting to this. So uh, we'll start off with the names first. Uh, we have Santosh with us. And we have Raghu, Kiran, and Harsha. Hello, I'm, I'm Kiran. <laughs> so uh, we'll start off with uh, Kiran first, and then uh, we'll go around. So you guys talk about the first point. How do you think IT sector is reacting to COVID-19? Uh, the first, the first important point is to keep the uh, business uh, running. So the first step, what we, uh, what, at least I'll take my company as a reference. So I work in um, Veran Systems, uh, it's a cyber intelligence in Netherlands. Um, we have our, um, collaboration to be done across uh, U U US and also in Israel. Okay. So what we develop, uh, we actually have to deliver to the other counterparts. So this, this was, this has been a very um, easy part when we have a direct access uh, to the direct part of the servers, uh, what they have been um, uh, configuring and building it to be delivered to the customer there. It, because every customer uh, delivery uh, kicks, kicks start with a specific point. So, but uh, at the moment, we confined ourselves to only developing within our own um, uh, repositories, it means it is our own local repositories uh, or local branches what we have. Uh, and every time when there is a big deliverable, which is not to be produced to customer because uh, there, there was no remote deployment being uh, configured and there was no not being set. So we are only doing, we are only preparing uh, with a heavy, with a heavy uh, deliverables to be done in future when every situation is open, at least for the, for the sales managers to travel and then uh, go to the uh, sales sites and then produce there. Mm. It's, at the moment, there's no loss of, at least here, there is no loss of the employees, but uh, to mitigate to the cost, to mitigate to the future, and also to mitigate uh, the entire uh, quarter uh, results, they, the companies already had taken steps to reduce 20% of salary uh, for two months, just to, just to make the quarter better. And also the quarter better in the sense the financial quarter is July, and that's where the actual businesses also will kick start to be renewed or to be taken a new shape or be, to be uh, contacted new. So um, apart from this, uh, the working, the work aspects, uh, we are doing good. Uh, in fact, uh, it is being better uh, just because, just because uh, we are only sticking to that. The only way uh, to kill our time is to work and that is being done and we are producing more, far and far better than at least I would say 10% uh, has been increased the performance part. So, but the challenging part is, um, um, do we have to uh, <laughs> permanent solution and do we have to uh, stick to our homes and then keep delivering? Uh, I would say, uh, I would say this may not be the right solution at the time, but we have to keep adopting. Okay, Raghu, yeah. what do you think? See COVID situation with respect to IT industry. On a short term note, there may be few hiccups, but on a long term, a long term, I would see there will be a lot of avenues opening up. New type of business thinking is coming in, and there are going to be ample opportunities. Maybe I would say after two years, we we'll see totally new landscape coming up in the IT world. I would practically see inside the organization the deep thinking going on. If you look at the organization where I work, I work for TCS. We are looking at working remotely, 70, 75% of the staff remotely by 20. So you can imagine the way organizations are going to function, going to change drastically. With this remote working culture, what is going to come in, the biggest challenge would be how will you socialize? How will you communicate with your boss? Or with your customers or with your colleagues remotely. So you're going to sit in your desk and you need to do your job as normal going forward. So the biggest challenge would be you need to focus on communicating effectively in remote means. That will be the greatest challenge. Mm -hmm. I've been in the industry 
after 16 years so far i i feel so far like a very good communicator but i realized communicating at a workplace physically is very much different to communicating remotely so there is another skill you need to add to your kitty going for communication mm. doesn't you mean writing emails or talking to a person sitting at the other side of the desk no longer going talking over a phone call is going to be a casual talk anymore you need to convey your message properly going forward friends i would advise take phone conversation seriously you make sure give the right message when you take talk to people keep getting into this habit going forward so that will help you probably that is a tip i would give from this conversation thank you santosh we cannot hear you sir is changing due to covid 19 okay so in my personal opinion there are two things first thing finances of the organization should be very strong at least to run their business till june 2021 hmm. if the organization has the funds to hold their resources till june 2021 and if the organization can get a new business to extend their services i think they can be in the market that is one aspect from the organization side mm-hmm. okay and now other aspect from the service um uh, um from the product side okay so lot of organizations i see or i hear are holding in signing new projects mm-hmm. they are just observing this particular pandemic situation mm-hmm. okay frankly speaking this is something new okay it's not just a financial crisis it is an health emergency as well okay so uh, they they're constantly observing this particular phase maybe it it might take couple of more months for them to adapt to this particular situation and come out with some innovative thoughts to start running their business again mm-hmm. okay so uh, obviously i mean uh, and also the us elections are there by this year end so if we take india major i mean us uh, it um, jobs have a major share frankly speaking in the it sector okay so maybe till at least i mean till the new government forms and this uh, organizations adopt to this new government policies and all there might be little bit pause which holds starting of new initiatives or major initiatives the current ongoing things will continue as is by reducing the headcount but new initiatives might not be that much dynamic hmm. there will be a pause temporary pause okay hmm. so but after june 2021 see you, you cannot stop this okay i mean any pandemic or anything you cannot stop this the reason is this is the age of uh this is the age where if you are not adapting to the change quickly mm. okay you will be lost not only a person not only an individual but organizations as well so definitely they'll come out with some innovative thoughts to be in the market so after that i mean definitely there will be a huge opportunities coming up but mm. to capitalize the opportunities i mean the individuals need to be equipped at least be strong in the basics of what they are working hmm. okay i i definitely um, i mean um, um, don't feel that any specific tool or any specific language only makes your life better i don't believe in that philosophy hmm. like some says a is great if you learn ai your life is settled some says analytics is great some says i mean robotics is great hmm. yes everything is great but you should be strong at least in one or two things okay you should be easily adaptable mm-hmm. okay to the requirement what customer is giving to you mm-hmm. if you are able to do that definitely i mean you can survive so you are working from home for a long time yes yeah. almost from last two months <laughs> okay well, i see i mean see i i i i i work from home from almost i mean 2010 but i mean continuously working from home Hmm. is uh, is from last two months only hmm. prashant 
Hey all. Hey Vamshi. So I definitely concur with uh, what uh, the other friends have uh, mentioned so far. Mm -hmm. This is certainly a time which is testing time for not just for individuals, for organizations as well as uh, the consumers of any of these uh, sectors. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have to uh, take it uh, from a timeline perspective, mm -hmm. short term looks not that not so positive. Mid term, there could be a few opportunities opening up. Long term, I can see quite a lot of opportunity opportunities opening up. Hmm. Especially, this is the stage where people are looking for remote work. Hmm. People are uh, looking to get the aspects. I mean, I'm I'm uh, focusing more on the IT industry right now than anything else. So this is the time where work is being packaged. It is packaged into bits and pieces, and these bits and pieces are distributed to the different individuals. So most of the time. People are on their own right now because they're working from home. It's either uh, the search engines which uh, they take help or a limited con uh, conversation which uh, they would keep on having with their uh, peers. But the rest is dependent on them for sure. So because it's up to the individuals how to deliver the piece, what I would definitely see at this situation is knowledge into the applications or uh, the technologies that they would be using. How are they able to articulate the, uh, the solutions? How are they able to understand the requirements from the customer and to articulate the same? And how are you presenting what, you're, what you have in your mind is the most important aspect. Hmm. So there are definitely good things. There are definitely not so good things because of uh, the current situation. Predominantly, at least in this industry, if you see that most of uh, most of the industries where people, I mean, where they've already started, they started because they either had a limited number of people available plus the machinery which can run, which can be remotely controlled. Hmm. Even if you look at uh, the media industry, most of it is uh, held remotely these days. In this uh, situation of lockdown, had it not been for the infrastructure on the IT as well as uh, the technologies which were already there, most of the people would have been heartbroken. Not just, uh, I mean, not because they are sitting at home, because they would have nothing to do at all. They're still connected to the world, maybe because of internet, maybe because of uh, the way how uh, they are getting into the uh, media related applications and programs. It, in the current situation, IT is certainly playing a major role in combining all of these things together. Mm -hmm. This is one industry which is still surviving even if uh, the rest of uh, the other industries uh, have been into lockdown. Mm -hmm. This is one industry where there are still deliverables which are met. This is one industry where people are still able to uh, work. They are still able to make some money. And they're even able to deliver something to the customer and the customer is also ready to accept what is being given. Right? Mm -hmm. Is it of the same quality what uh, we were doing earlier? It could be debatable, but it is an acceptable quality for sure. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll move on to the next one. So you, all of you are working with uh, in senior positions and you guys are work, have a big team under you. So what are the skills or what are specifically asks from the clients? So are they asking something different? Like uh, Raghu mentioned that they're asking uh, only once in a week or once in three months is he used to go. Now he's going about once in three weeks. So situation like that are changing, right? What are the specific asks from the clients? Did it change from before to now? We would say, okay, I go on, uh, I'll begin the conversation on this one, uh, on she. So I would say the fundamental ask has not changed especially the changes in the way you deliver it and the minimum cost that you can incur to the customer with which you can deliver it has changed. Basically my organization model is you get people near to the customer to understand what customer wants and then you go remotely probably back to India and start delivering on what customer is looking for. Now the situation has come up obviously because for a quite a longer duration 
starting from 3 4 months back until next 15 to 18 months it is definitely not possible for uh, the uh, travels uh, cannot happen near to customer sites to understand what customer is looking for so until all these years in it industry the expectation was that to understand what customer needs can be acquired only by going near to the customer but the other stuff can be done remotely and you can come back to customer and hand it over back to him the expectation has further changed you also need to understand what customer is looking for also remotely and you should meet his expectations even by doing 100% of your work remotely going forward so uh, that big change that i have seen that customer expectation also has changed i can i can feel it in last 3 months we set up a new team uh, back in india normally we used to get 3 months at least for 3 months the new guys over near to customer to get a camaraderie uh, to understand uh, to get a emotional bond with the customer and go back and they continue doing their job uh, that's no longer be the case now it is becoming becoming a new normal of working remotely throughout your tenure with that customer so the the basic uh, expectation of uh, uh, learning curve or a, 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 a soft period of uh, spending time with customer and getting to know each other is uh, drastically reduced so basically you need to pick up just on the go and you need to keep delivering it from day one okay santosh yeah see um earlier i mean especially in it um, we, we used to adopt the I men waterfall model okay where the length of the projects are very long but frankly speaking that is history now okay now everything is agile so customer is looking for quicker qualitative de- delivery within a short span of time okay so you need to adapt to it in simple hmm now how you will do it varies from organization to organization based upon their executive leadership thoughts mm. kiran yeah <clears throat> kiran comes with the advantage of working both in uh, hardware dominated as well as uh, software supported industries so we are expecting some special answer from him yeah sure um so so far uh, when we deliver uh, any uh, solution or any product customer is the customer doesn't have uh, much of information how to how do they run it from their specific source is example we deliver to their home country or their home town or their uh, organization so it's a, it's a bunch of people coming they do the end to end functionality maintenance and also uh um, making it like so what will change now customer should also be adopted to the technical aspects it's not just uh, it's not just uh, the people the persons i mean it's not just the suppliers who are uh, giving it to the customer even customer has to know how he has to configure the system how he has to buy the solution on the communication what is being done by the people from the uh, suppliers on the call so mm-hmm. it means he it means the entire industry uh, of the customers or, or the let's say the manufacturing industry or any industry, so those are also um being um by being there for a specific specificity the test is no longer just to have the knowledge you have to learn about the techniques of the product but we deep dive into the technical failures to communicate the failures effectively to the to back to the team to fix to have a to have a, a firm fix either of it either of it uh, is not able to do it it's a total failure so uh, it's it's not just a it industry which is having which has to adopt to a, a, a changes because of the covid 19 has caused it's just a whole world it's, it's also the entire part who is also um, traveling the traveling the travel industry is making massive changes to make sure they are having the secure aspects that's a, that's the biggest change they have never done this before it's the first time they're doing it in the same time 
in same time the customers so the hardware the hardware guys uh, the hardware industry uh, has to collaborate with software industry of course uh, are coming with the massive knowledge of the basics because they are the actual people who are uh, building the product but the software is also not is is also equal to the hardware capabilities but both of them should be integrated deeper where at the moment is only one collaboration i would say if it's there is around uh, 100 teams working 50 teams in software team and 30 teams in hardware 10 teams are working for collaboration both the hardware and software so now this collaboration will not be done I mean, it has to be done with by both hardware and software basically it's not just hardware and software it's just customer versus supplier yeah this was my take that it's not the COVID has left us to change the world, not not just a specific industry, you know, the specific person. Of course, when we have the technology, uh, once we start it, we will achieve this within a, within a year. If we really collaborate very good uh, each other, and everyone has to accept that they have to be adopted, they have to increase their capability of uh, uh, work performance, not just one one person. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Over to Harsha. Yeah. Back again. Yeah. Okay. What are the clients looking for right now? Hmm. Client is still looking to get the delivery done. That's right. How? How? It is something which is dependent on how we, as individuals as well as organizations, are going to deliver it. Hmm. In simple terms, client would still be adapting to the new environment would also be i mean so let's let's assume a customer he could be in any any industry mm. so there would be people specialized uh, in those uh, industries who would be working for the customer mm. in addition to those people those customers they'll have an it team mm. right so that team they would be used to working in a way like how we are from the other organizations are used to mm -hmm. so there would be a little bit of adaptation from their side there would be adaptation from our side together using both of these we would be delivering the content what is needed to the customer mm -hmm. i work for a company where remote delivery is not new to us mm -hmm. there were times where we've done uh, i mean the blueprint discussions as well as provided the documents back over telephone calls Mm -hmm. We've done projects to Pakistan too, mm -hmm. where the, the travel itself was restricted. If uh, I mean, we've done projects in uh, quite a few different other countries where traveling uh, is not that easy. Securing mm -hmm. a work permit itself is, uh, uh, I mean, a task which uh, which we which used to take at least three months of time. So, three months is too long a period for a customer to keep mum until uh, a, I mean a consultant comes in and tries to deliver something. Mm -hmm. So remote delivery probably into this industry is not new, but how we are able to communicate, how we are able to present, how we are able to collect the details mm -hmm. and then later solutionize it is the criteria that we'll have to keep focusing on. Mm -hmm. So from a client perspective, he's still looking for someone who would be able to deliver the job to them. Mm -hmm. So I don't see any difference in that yet. Okay, so uh, last question that I want to ask you all about is uh, what should freshers or someone who is just starting his career in IT industry looking for? So we can start with Anusha for this. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, I mean, personally, I would look at a couple of points. Hmm. I would emphasize heavily on the communication and presentation skills. Okay, coming from a state. Uh, where I've studied. Mm. So this is not something that uh, we get right from the schooling days. So we would need to work a lot on that. Mm. So that's uh, an area where uh, we would have to improve. Mm. Next uh, would be, I mean, trying to emphasize and learn any additional foreign language than English. Okay. Okay. It is a time where uh, we're talking about delivering to uh, customers who are probably in uh, any part of the world. So. Mm anything in addition to what they currently have in terms of the communication mm -hmm. i mean uh, a language that is certainly going to help them mm -hmm. next 
I mean, like uh, what Santosh as well as uh, Kiran and uh, uh, Raghu have mentioned, mm -hmm. it is not the technology which is more important. Mm -hmm. It is the combination of technology plus the communication which is more important is what I I would be looking at. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if there is one area that I personally want uh, people <coughs> to focus, I mean, uh, at this point of stages, let them focus a little more on the security related applications and tools because most of the companies would be investing into it. Mm -hmm. Let them uh, invest into communications and presentation skills mm -hmm. and let them invest into any additional foreign languages. Okay. Which language? Anything, anything would do. Mm -hmm. So Chinese to start with, Spanish, okay. German, mm -hmm. and uh, probably French the next. I know they're not investing a lot these days, but still. <laughs> All right. So, over to Santosh. What What is the one thing that you want to tell Precious, or someone who is just starting to look for job in IT industry? Yeah, uh, definitely a couple of languages. Mm. Okay, um, like Java or C, mm. and good idea on the tools. Okay, not everyone are um, in the industry are writing uh, lines and lines of code. Okay, so if you take BPM, we have Pega. Okay, if you go to integrations, you have uh, IBM tools like WTX, WPS, WMB, Data Power. Okay, and and any other any other latest ESB tools. Okay, so languages in combination with tools hmm. is something uh, very good actually for the reason that at least I mean they will be able to create their basics in IT. And they should also understand how the IT life cycle uh, works. Mm -hmm. That is very important. I mean, uh, as Raghu said, definitely, I mean, maybe uh, they will not be having that much luxury like how we had when we started our career. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we, we were trained. After that, we were placed as shadow resources. Mm -hmm. Once we proved, then we are kept in the actual project execution. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that cycle would repeat again now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that luxury is gone. Mm -hmm. The people, I mean, who are joining the industry definitely, at least may not be from the day one, but I mean, within a within a month they should start proving themselves. Mm -hmm. So they should have good, uh, they should be adaptable mm -hmm. to whatever technology the organization is placing them in. Then simple. And as um, Harsha said, uh, definitely I mean, an additional language will uh, will be good. But to be frank, I mean, I, I deal with Middle East engagements. Mm -hmm. I know how hard it is, I mean, if you don't know, I mean, Arab, Arabic language or to communicate with the customer. Mm -hmm. Okay, definitely I mean, additional language will be an advantage. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Raghu, since you're here, what is your advice for someone who is starting now? Hey, oh, sorry, I'm <laughs> sure your voice. Okay, uh, so Harsha and Santosh has uh, added very much valid, valid points to what should the uh, new guys or the guys who are looking to come into the industry need to look out for. So most of the things would go same, but I would like to add one different perspective, what I personally experienced over the years. Mm -hmm. I would recommend guys be familiarized or try to engage with yourself in different cultures of major markets, especially. So uh, when I say different cultures, um, maybe see if you're going to work for a US projects, get to know a bit of a baseball or get to know some good names in baseball. Or if you're working for an Australian project in Australia, footy is a very famous game. So getting to know a bit of a footy game and few Australian jargons or some cultures of Australia, some history of Australia or the history of any of the major markets you look out, they will help you break the ice and start a conversation with your customer. When you get in uh, uh, into the conversation, not only technical, a bit of it, the local culture as well, that will give a different connect, different bonding with your, uh, it's not only customer, it may be somebody sitting at the other end. 
if you know some basics of their cultures and origins that will help you break the ice and that will definitely add a value in your relationship so that's one additional thing that i would like off of what our uh, friends have already said completely agree with that kiran final shot i'll go for option d all the above <laughs> <laughs> okay so so all the points all the points are valid no, very much true and uh, the but uh, the first thing is uh, i would say the freshers don't panic it's not to panic it's not the situation to panic we have uh, faced the situations i mean there are many situations which have caused a year because people tend to choose their uh, education uh, groups of the choice what they want to become mm. i would say i would say first excel first excel that either you take economics or you take uh, biology or you take uh, it you have to excel that so first when you excel that i mean i'm pretty sure i think uh, uh, all the language learning has part has been has been become a part in the uh, higher uh, i would say not in every school uh, or in every college uh, but it's only for some reputed college where they are actually promoting to learn other languages so if you get a chance to learn there to, to choose that opportunity to choose uh, the options what they have not just specific one language i think they would have only some specific languages which they choose to choose one to add it to your kitty that you know you are multilingual not just a uh, uh, unilingual so that will help a lot uh, in dealing with uh, uh, other in dealing with other other customers i think the the freshers i'm not sure if freshers will directly get a chance to deal with customers directly in the very first day when they enter the office so it uh, the to to excel them i think they will definitely uh, have to um, get on to the uh, languages of the technical part or in other field uh, and also to have a focus on the on the culture what they are doing it as ragu said already ragu men- mentioned in the right way um, to to see in a bigger box in a open box not just in a closed box so what the people are going where they are going and uh, focus on that and the ideas ideas are the key uh, uh, route to su- route to success i think uh, once you think you are doing this one this part uh, is just to is just with an idea to unite uh, all the thoughts and to come up with a very good conclusion to uh, feed to the freshers and also the people who are in need so right. obviously so obviously i mean the need has to be fulfilled first so work on that and then uh, others i think uh, people who are excelled in technical aspects it's very easy for them to excel in the language aspects so it's not it's not a rocket science i'm pretty sure except a few languages do not comment on that <laughs> okay fine that's the main point all right with that we come to a conclusion so uh, i have written down the take away so that i don't miss uh, so first thing like okay. kiran said there's nothing to panic about we have seen several bad turns several financial issues uh, come and go but uh, like harsha said we have done this uh, remote working or working from home or handling situations when you are we, did, we don't have a lot of support successfully so working from my home is going to be there for some time so i think we are all working more than what is what we used to work in off the situation when you working from home so that is what is acceptable by everybody and uh santosh put in one word it's called common sense we use it now but what is if though you have a if you have your basics right then you have to build that con- common sense so that you can use it to any situation uh communication skills was emphasized by everybody all of you said that it's important to communicate cross culture cross uh, languages as well as able to tell in a crisp way in a short way so that people can understand attention spans are not that much when you're doing online another thing they said was having uh, an option to adapt to whatever is happening for example if you want to learn a new skill this is the time to do my personal opinion after talking to so many people is that uh, one thing corona did is that it brought people together it brought entire world closer so instead of uh, panicking and being separate we are all in this together uh, with 1.5 meters distance one <laughs> but with the social distancing so what uh, what we believe is it brought people together it brought relationships also together and i think uh, with few exceptions like us election or uh, funds not being there industry is going to open up so i see a lot of hope and lot of positivity going forward 
So thank you all for joining and taking your time on a Sunday afternoon. I hope this will help a lot of children out there, there out there, as well as parents who are looking to invest in the children's education. Is IT the safe bet? I think, uh, like Harsha pointed out, it's the safest thing right now because people are actually going to adapt to technologies and move towards uh, getting several things done online. And kids have a huge advantage when they do that. Any last shot? Any of you want to add before we close? We forgot the most important point. Yes. We have. We also have to manage home. You have to manage home. <laughs> no, the target is 18 to 25. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there, there is someone to manage that piece for them. No, we also have to manage home. Not just uh, we have one more team to add uh, to manage. So I leave it to the guys who are more experienced, but most experienced. I don't uh, uh, have any uh, solutions here because people are more uh, excelled in their own environment in this managing home. Mm. So it, it's all. It's a good situation to be in. This has brought our thoughts together. Dig into your fundamentals. Learn your skills properly. Spend time on buildings. You don't have a lot of time. When people expect you to join now, uh, like Raghu pointed out, you don't have six months to prove you have from day one people are looking at you. So uh, be ready, be train yourself to be there, and then let's see how it goes. Yep. Yeah. So just to add another point, in addition to IT being, uh, I mean, looking at it from a software perspective, hardware is another perspective which would have more opportunities. So that is also something to look at. Furniture industry is also going to improve because of the COVID. Each and, every, each and everyone uh, would need to have a disk of their own. Mm -hmm. Another aspect is, uh, I mean, the internet services, the uh, broadband services. So there's going to be sales and service improvement in that area too. And uh, to end this, there would be a lot of collaboration tools which would come into market. So it would be for the individuals now if they want to think differently uh, than, than the existing collaboration tools, they might be able to come up with something new, which could change the way how uh, individuals would be interacting, probably augmented reality, probably uh, in terms of uh, using the combinations of AI as well as video. So, I mean, the, there are ample opportunities now. It's just that people would have to catch this opportunity and try to deliver something. That's it. All right. Santosh, last shot. Just stay safe. So don't panic. Definitely, I man. Opportunities are there. Just capitalize when it comes your way. All right. Thank you all once again for joining. Uh, let's hope we help at least one child out there who is panicking and uh, who thinks who is using to make use of this video. Thank you all. Have a good day. Yeah. Thanks, Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.